What are the MiG-29s that still need to be added in the future? I'm not talking about right now, maybe some of them, yes, but in the future. You know, even at the end of the game, the end game of every single MiG-29, there is there to be added. I did one video like this a very, very long time ago, and I wanted to redo it. So, let's talk about all the MiG-29s that are still left to be added, that I think are realistically able to be added that's the thing right because um i can talk about very specific prototypes and very specific little variants for certain upgrades for nations and stuff but it doesn't mean that they are going to come these are all the mig 29s that i think have a place in the game at a certain point or at least as an event vehicle or something like that i will talk about the vehicle itself and after that um if it should be added or not or how it should be added okay so we start with the germans the germans have yeah no mig-29 yeah the, the germany um the german mig-29s are already there the 912a and the g variant are all the variants that we can have for germany so we go to the ussr the ussr or russia has um some variants that are still there to be added the mig-29s would be the one the first one that i wanted to talk about it is an upgraded mig-29 on the older ones you know that were already produced in the 80s right it was an production uh, like pro project to upgrade the older mig 29s it could be added as you know either fuselage that the older mig 29s have the 912 or the 913 with the larger uh, you know fuel um tank it had two main features compared to the older 912 and 913 it had a new flight control system with better hydraulics making it possible to pull two degrees extra of aoa and the main change that it was the addition of the N019M radar that uh, basically had these as the new features compared to the older N019 that we have in the older MiG-29s. It was lighter, increased ECM resistance, a new software and new self-monitoring system for maintenance, doubled the reliability of the processor, and of course improved processing. This allowed the radar to have uh, the ability to shoot two targets at once with R-77, so the new missile was able to be shot from this aircraft, and it had a slight increase in range for about 80 kilometers, depending on the side of the target. So basically, it's an upgrade to the older MiG-29s we have in the game to be able to carry the R-77, and of course the R-73 as well, um, but of course, those ones can already carry it. The Gaijin just don't want to add it. The BR could probably be something like a 13.3 or something like that. But probably as an event vehicle. Because we already have the SMT. It would be a cool aircraft to have because it would be lighter. But at the same time, it would have a worse radar than the Zook. And yeah, it wouldn't have too many upgrades on the uh, air-to-ground role. So maybe even 13.0, I don't know. But the thing is... It would be an aircraft that doesn't really have a place in the tech tree, just basically increasing the grind if it's added there. So an event vehicle would be perfect for it. The second one is the MiG-29M, a complete redesign of the older MiG-29s made to, be, to substitute the older MiG-29s in Soviet production. But of course, 1991 happened and then never saw the light of day, so very few numbers of them were made. And the idea was to have a 4.5 generation MiG-29. The initial idea basically led to the MiG-35 that we're going to talk about it later. Uh, the redesign of the fuselage and wings made it possible to carry more fuel inside the lurks. So inside basically the, those extensions of um, the wing that we have in the all these aircraft you know uh, the engines were stronger producing seven percent more power and with the extra fuel you have more range as well a full fly-by-wire system was installed um, over the older hybrid mode uh, or hybrid more mechanical systems that the older mig-29s had a radar would be pretty much the same as the one in the smt so an upgraded in the radar it would be pretty much initially the same radar or a very similar radar to the yak 141 right uh, two extra pylons, so it would be able to carry eight missiles. And, of course, the ability to carry the R-77s, R-73s, etc. A new cockpit and MFDs, so it means that it could actually take air-to-ground ordnance that is guided, like TV-guided weapons and stuff. 
so a complete redesign of the MiG-29. In-game would be very, very similar to the SMT, but it would have more power, uh, eight missiles, a similar range, but no hump, and the same type of armament. Could be added as a 13.3 or 13.7, depending on the fly model. Is it necessary? Maybe not, because we can jump directly to the MiG-35. But if Gaijin doesn't want to jump directly to the MiG-35, the MiG-29M could be something in between. The MiG-29K is another one that it's very important to talk about. The naval version of the MiG-29M is very similar to it in all regards. It features folding wings, obviously, arrestor gears, and a reinforced landing gear to take the punch of landing on a carrier. In the production model, it even received radar absorbing coating in the um, paint to reduce radar signature. Weapons and performance should be very, very similar to the M and SMT. More on the M because it has a little bit more power, right? Could be even added after the Yak-141 or after the SU-33 if that's added before. Uh, the BR should be 13.3 or 13.7 depending on the performance and fly model again, but basically a naval version of the MiG-29M, okay? Then we go for the final version of the MiG-35 that the Soviets can have, or Russians, right? The MiG-35, guys, a further development of the MiG-29M, basically making it a 4++ plus plus generation aircraft, right? Uh, the same engine as the M and K, so more powerful than the original MiG-29s. The weapons obviously include everything that the Russians have in their arsenal, later models of the R-77, so initially, of course, R-77s, but then the R-77-1, R-73s, but also the famous R-74M, and any type of air-to-ground ordnance, and even cruise missiles like the KH-36, a version of the KH-38 that we have in the Su-25 SM-3 in the game right now. So obviously, uh, you would use also a glass cockpit with an NVDs and also night visions and stuff and a new helmet. Um, uses a fully electronic Scanada Ray Raider, so a PESA or an AESA. The AESA is an option for clients that buy this aircraft, but the PESA is the main Raider that the Russians use it on it. Uh, very few numbers built, but still, it's the PESA that they use on those. Uh, has a new IRST that can be used as a FLIR too, which is pretty interesting. You can use to find not only uh, infrared targeting, like, uh, to be able to be used as an infrared targeting system, but also as a ground attack, um, you know, camera that you can use. So very interesting. Next generation of jet in-game, obviously, so it would be a higher BR. On the very least, 13.7, but Gaijin maybe would want to add for these aircraft and many other 4 plus generation aircraft uh, on 14.0 or something like that. It would be, like I said, a 4.5 generation a really, really good one. Um, and of course, um, the last MiG-35, like MiG-29 technically, that we can ever see on that lineup. So the last aircraft for the lineup will probably be the MiG-35, okay? These are the Russian ones, the main ones of the main nation that uses these aircraft. But we have other nations with it. Of course, I wanted to talk about the Italians as well with the MiG-29 Sniper. Uh, it's kind of hard to find information on the prototype of this because it never saw production so maybe it could be added as an event vehicle or even a tech tree vehicle because italy is you know always needing new stuff to be added but the thing is we don't know exactly what radar this thing would use you know some people claim one some people claim another but that's the problem the radar is problematic to add because of that but because they never saw like full production and the prototypes were in kind of an early stage and they pull, pulled the plug but anyway if added it would be an upgraded proposed to the romanian mig 29s never saw production as i said but it would be very very cool modernizations on all avionics to nato standard mfds new rwrs radios ins gps nav systems stuff like that weapons would be mainly the russian ones but I'm sure they would try to put American-made missiles as well. And a new radar was expected to be used. So very interesting, but it's hard to find proper information. So if you have any, let me know in the comments. But still, it would be, it would be an aircraft that a lot of people would love to see as an event or even as a um, tech tree vehicle. And then we go for the most controversial out of all the MiG-29s and kind of an extra at the end of the video over here, guys. The British... Yes, technically the British can receive MiG-29s. The MiG-29 is 
can like it was used by the Indians, right? So it can actually be added for the British Tech Tree or event vehicles. We have three of them that can be added, so let's talk about them. Uh, again, we don't. I, it's not like I'm rooting for or against these to be added, but just to say it's kind of controversial, and we don't know if Gaijin will ever add an Indian MiG-29 to the British Tech Tree. Okay. The first one would be the MiG-29 912B. This is the original MiG-29 that they used. It is the same as the Hungarian one. India used them. Uh, so it could be as an event or something, 12.7, 12.3, or even 13.0, depending on missiles. Same as the, we have in the Hungarian one. The second one would be the MiG-29 UPG. This is pretty much an Indian upgrade to the other MiG-29s, but not any upgrade, an SMT upgrade. So it's pretty much the SMT upgrade of the MiG-29 that we have in the game for the Indian older MiG-29s. Uh, it has even the same bulge on the back of the, the hump, you know? So um, yeah, it has more like little changes here and there, but it's pretty much the same. Of course, if added, uh, it could be added as a 13.3 or 13.7, depending on weapon, on whatever Gaijin wants to do, okay? Again, we don't know if that could actually be added because it's kind of controversial, but still. And the last one that I wanted to talk about is obviously the Indian MiG-29. They also are using MiG-29 case. Um, the MiG-29, the Navy, Indian Navy MiG-29, right? Uh, so they are also using that. Uh, it's basically the same aircraft. Uh, so I don't know if Gaijin will ever want to add something like this. But if the British ever need a new fourth generation that is very advanced, this could be added, right? Uh, with the British only pretty much having the Eurofighter and then straight jumping to the F-35 after many upgrades of the Eurofighter, but still... Uh, we could see like something like a MiG-29K or something like that, or even the UPG to have some form of, you know, um, uniqueness to the tech tree, you know, to have some different things that can actually, you know, be a little bit fun and different from what you are accustomed in that tech tree. Okay, guys, but these are the MiG-29s that are the most likely ones to be added. Again, the MiG-35, the MiG-29K, um, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. They're, they're both the most, like, reliably, you know, able to be predicted to be added. Everything else is kind of a stretch, but those are kind of realistic as well. There's always a little version here and there, a little change here and there that could be added as an event vehicle or something. But these are the ones that I think are the most likely for us to see in the game. Okay? But yeah, guys, basically this is it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And bye, guys. See ya.